my god. Oh my god, did you hear that? Oh my god, did you hear that? Is it Bigfoot? Is it the Yeti? No, no. It's the last and only known crow magna man, Zaza Pachulia. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's awful. It's true. Oh, Zaza, you gotta quit. Just stop. Get off my TV, please. Hey, welcome to another edition of the Blazing Beard Bulls Blog. Special late night edition. Special eggnog and crown royal edition. So cheers, special Kenyatta and Bullseye edition. What's up, my brother in the Midwest? Doing it right? I am the Blazing Beard. So this is Jimmy's team, then Joe's team, then Taj's team, then Pow's team, then Rose's team. Rose, you gotta climb the ladder again. And right now, uh, good for you. You should have to do that. It's humbling. I think you're ready. But now you're D-Rose, the facilitator, because your ankle's not right. So sit down and sit for a couple more, and then sit for a couple more, and then come on back out. It's good to see you, but it's not ready. So sit for a couple more. Um, after the first, yeah, did you see that? Brandon Knight, D-Rose, I don't hardly ever see him doing that. They said, oh, he fired back, but he fired back like Joe. Joe's the one that claps and like gets in your face and celebrates and that. I was, I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Um, Taj, every night man. That's my nickname for him because he's showing up every night. And you know his ankle's not 100%, but he's just going to be a beast this year. And he's one of my favorite just pieces of this team all around. Gasol, never back down, man. He's not going to take any shit. And he's there and he's going to do it right. And he's that veteran presence that we need. That's the veteran presence that at the end of the games, even when not everybody's there or not everybody's healthy, helps you win games with the right kind of attitude. Love it. Pow has been huge for us. You can see the Bulls figuring each other out, um, figuring the other team out. They've come out slow for a couple games in a row. And like I said, I don't get that, you know, be moving a million miles an hour. But they're just being patient and they're figuring each other out. And tonight, you did not see the minutes for McDermott. You did not see the production from Mirtich. Um, and you saw, you know, Tibbs lean heavily on Rose when I thought he could have been leaning on Brooks instead. Um, so that's part of our schedule and our schedule is weird. It's like if the Cavs play us, they're playing and haven't played in like three nights or like two weeks and they're all rested and ready and they play at home. We're always like on the second night of a back to back or something like that. You know, we always, our schedule faces like, I think, you know, really big types of things. Like now we're all of a sudden on the road forever and then we do the West Coast trip as if just being on the road forever wasn't, you know, bad enough. So basically look. Um, our schedule, I think, is a tough combo, but I think we've learned to, like, figure that out, too. So, go, go, yes. Go, Bulls. And, uh, mm, I suggest a little Organic Valley eggnog or whatever eggnog you can get your hands on. Then I suggest a little bit of Crown Royal. And since we're almost at the end of our evening, cheers, because the Bulls, when Kenyatta from Bullseye Visits, are 6-0, and 6-0, oh, and oh, baby, 6-0, and oh, baby. So, go Bulls. I am the Blazing Beard. This is the Blazing Beard Bulls blog. Blazing Beard Bulls at gmail.com. And, mm, all sorts of indica. A lot of indica. Celebrate good times. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jimmy Butler looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh. Ooh.